All right. Uh, of course, we have to check out my boy, Ordinary Sausage. If you guys haven't noticed, uh, we have a new logo for the show. One of the uh, fans of the show, he contacted me after the last one and said, Hey, I'm a graphic designer and I think I think I can make a, a better logo. And, uh, you know, it's uh, I just wanted, just, just wanted to do it just to help out the show. And so, uh, God bless him. Uh, he didn't complain once uh, through all of the revisions that I put him through. And, and, and I know I put him through a lot. So... Uh, if you want to show your appreciation to this show, to this channel, it's pretty cool logo. Uh, you could do so by visiting uh, TechCrates1's uh, Twitter profile and uh, let them know how much you enjoy the new logo. All right, Very with nice that, uh, we'll start the show. Sorry. Well, hey there, folks, and uh, welcome back. I guess to another episode here and uh what an episode it is you may be saying hey but this these don't look like mres there was a little uh, screw up at the post office and uh they're working on getting that package uh returned uh but until then uh we can celebrate uh, the the jewish uh holiday here of uh passover with some uh Classic uh, Passover foods. Uh, we have the uh, matzah, gefilte fish, some horseradish here. You put that with the gefilte fish. Manischewitz uh, wine. And uh, we this got some uh, matzah ball soup mix. So uh, Being an, uh, an Asian uh, we're, Aussie. We're going to do uh, a Passover sausage. You know, I, I think it's, uh, it's uh, important that what I, the Passover I try meal. what these foods uh, taste like when they're not mm. in sausage form. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll give that a shot. Uh, uh. That's not uh, very comforting. Uh, th there's a whole lot of shimmer is that, is uh, that, like that I was not fish? expecting. All right, uh, you know, looks are and everything. It's uh, just uh, that's how it tastes. Looks unappetizing. You're supposed to eat the the broth. Give it a little bit more of that that broth. Uh, looks like like old spam. Um, is. You know, maybe with the horseradish, it, uh, it, 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 that's where it did that. We got a yeah. nice pizza matzah here. <laughs> oh, so oh, those are lovely. Cracker like. Give this a taste. That thing looks like cat food, dude. It's very dry and not a whole lot of flavor. Do people just eat this? You know, let, let's, let, 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 let's try the matzo ball soup. On the stove, dude. <laughs> hey, he cleaned. He cleaned it up. He cleaned it up. It's all for the show. Love it. I. Uh, you know what? This would actually, uh, with a little bit more salt, I think it would be perfect. Okay. I uh, remember the uh, Vienna sausage episode. And, oh my God, it's Mr. Potato Sausage. Oppa! Let's give this uh, man a shot. It's a shot here. What the? Okay, I, th I think our uh, food tour is over. And, uh, you know, I think it's uh, time we make uh, some uh, Passover sausages here. I seriously really enjoy the, the, um, the soul he puts into the video. So it makes it really entertaining. Like anyone, anyone can make sausage videos if you have the equipment. But he has such like a flair to his character on screen. It's so entertaining. How's that gonna work? <laughs> you gotta break your kitchen aid. The matzah is putting up quite a fight. <laughs> Look at that break it. Hey, all part of the show. Okay, we didn't do it too shabby. Uh, let's uh, get it a stir and try to get some of that moisture out of there. Oh, I, I just realized that uh, we didn't put the horseradish through the, the grinder, but you know, it's it's fresh ground, so g g give me a pass on this one. This is uh, uh, warm. It uh, sticks to your fingers pretty good. This is extra sticky. It kind of looks like the matzo ball mixture. Is maybe this is what it's made out of? I'm not a Jew, a Jewish boy, but I kind of want to try the matzo ball thing. <laughs> oh, he's hand cranking it this time. It's safe, but I suppose. Oh, those are chunky boys. Okay, we got uh, eight sausages oh, out of that, boys. and uh, you know I'm. Uh, 
You know, I don't have high hopes uh, for these sausages. I actually kind of want to try my sausages myself. So we're going to try our uh, tried and true method here of uh, keeping those sausages linked together and then, uh, you know, using the ones that survive for our tasting. Let's hope for the best here. I, I, you know, you... You, you never know un unless you try. Oh, that's just way too many. I, I don't think they're all going to fit in the pan. Coil them. Coil them. Th this is probably not the way you should go about it, but uh, that's, that's how oil. we're going to do it today. Say we uh, give it a little help with some Manischewitz. Wait, what? Does that work? Looks like it's... we have a first casualty over here. They're, they're starting to swell pretty good here. This good filter fish is starting to grow on me a little bit here. On second thought, seeing how much those mozzarella oh, uh, those like a balloon crime scene. Are boiling, we should have known better. <laughs> well, it's a massacre. Uh, there, there's no other way to say this. Uh, they all burst, uh, but we do have two that we're going to try. It's going to be this one, and it's going to be that one. Okay, I think that we should at least dress one of these with some of that uh, gel broth from the gefilte fish. Well, as you know, they all burst, but uh, this one's definitely the most. It's retained its uh, shape. Complete, so. It still at least has the skin on. Give it a shot. Uh, so we'll give that one a taste. It tastes almost exclusively like the matzo ball. I can't taste any of the gefilte fish, which, you know, it's kind of a good thing. Um, there's a little bit of the horseradish. There's not too much bite. Uh, let's try the What's one that we uh, jellied with the gefilte fish jelly. The, the, the jelly broth didn't really make a difference here. It's not the worst sausage I've ever had on this show, but it, it is very plain tasting. It uh, it tastes just like a like a, a like a white bread uh, with a little bit of eggy, a little bit oniony. It's just so plain that there's there's really no flavor behind it. Uh, so one out of five. Uh, bum, but you know bum, we do bum, have bum, Easter bum. coming up, so uh, we'll see uh, how we could destroy that holiday. Bop 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 bop. You know there's always gefilte fish sausage. It's uh. Oh, uh, that jelly broth. That's what it's all about. Uh, no, no, that's, zero, zero out of five. That's nasty. I mean, I don't know how it tastes, but like, oh, it's nasty. Entire fish sausage. What? We'll watch one more, one more ordinary sausage. Sorry, dude. I don't know why the ads aren't playing. I don't know how to disable uh, GX. Ad block if it is the ad block. Well, hey there, folks, and uh, my broth is back, I guess. And uh, boy, is that is uh, we're doing this, I guess we're gonna be doing this. I just realized that the fish that I purchased oh, he has his own cutting uh, board, is way too big for the grinder. Here's the grinder, and there's the fish. You're and, gonna get uh, fish guts and whatnot you know, in the sausage, man. That's nasty, as we can see. <laughs> Uh, by the laws of physics, physics uh, you know, it's, uh, this ain't gonna happen. Uh, so we gotta find hey, out another way try. To, to get this guy in there. Warning. The next part is pretty Take rough. Take me to the river. Drop me in the water. Is this TOS? Why, yes, that knife did just slice my finger. And, uh, you know, luckily luckily for us, uh, the only band-aids we have in the house are these, uh, these Frozen 2 band-aids. This time it's personal. <laughs> okay, dude. I'm just gonna skip ahead. Oh, so he, gr he ground the, the raw fish. Wait, that's nasty. Yeah, we hosed it all right. So, uh, no bones. No bones in your meat grinders, people. Oh, dude. Is that safe? He's gonna fry that. But in, a, in sausage, like, form. Will it, will it cook through? That doesn't seem safe at all. This has been just a very scarring experience overall. I don't feel any of the bones. So, you know, I don't think we need to do another pass through. So that's fantastic news. I think it just uh, disintegrated. It, it smells like if, if a fish came into my home and just left a fresh one right on the living room floor. <coughs> this is like the smoothest. This is like the Cadillac of putting one of these things on here. See this thing, it pushes it down. And then that way we get the air out of it first. That way it doesn't go into the sausage. Look at it go. 
All right, in three, two, one, let's sausage. You know, one of these days, that's gonna that's gonna sound real nice. Here we go. Three, two, one, let her rip. <laughs> that looks rank. <laughs> well, there you go. That's uh, that's one whole snapper. Look at that. There's no flat bottom on this pan. So we're just going to have to use this uh, imported bean sprouts and water to kind of kind of make it level here. All right, in the three, two, one, let's uh, sausage again. That's a crime. That should be a crime. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, okay, it doesn't we look that bad. the peas. They, they're just too small. That's not going to do anything for you. Then okay. this is just slightly too tall for it. You're going to tip it too much the other way. And so the bean sprouts, they just slide from right under, and there we go. Right, canned bean sprouts. Personally, at home, we never get we'll canned. We, we always get fresh. That's about what I was expecting. I think we're in for a, for a wonderful... Uh, a, a wonderful okay that doesn't look that bad but it looks flavorless experience okay so i, I have to be I... careful because there are bones in this so uh ah. the first bite will be a very delicate bite because like people season their sausages so it taste wise it's really not that bad it's a good uh, it was a good snapper so nothing wrong really with the taste it did you know it tastes like it tastes like a fish it could it could have mm. used uh, a little bit more help maybe some pepper maybe some yeah salt, salt and pepper and, maybe you know, the world's your oyster those small bones are definitely coming back to uh bite us because they are in there if you were to order this you know at a restaurant that's immediately a send back so in that sense it's yeah. a zero out of five however fish sausage is a real thing so you know if this is easily going to be a five out of five if, if you fillet the fish recipe, properly i think it might be you know, um, and don't an interesting you know, throw the try. entire fish into the grinder if we were to ignore the bones taste wise this would be like a three out of five so for what Salt we did today it. because there's bones in there but Maybe not flavor wise lemon. it's getting a, a zero out of five Bop, 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 bop. bop. <laughs> Love this guy. What a champ. Ordinary sausage, yo. I guess we're doing this. Could be the mantra for. <laughs> um, maybe I'll save this video for next time. With Rainbot.